Seattle City Light is now one of the oldest public utilities in the country and the biggest, 10th largest in the nation. Founded in 1905, its primary mission was to deliver affordable public power to Seattle residents at a time when private electricity rates were sky high, and that mission remains today. Seattle City Light's rates are some of the most affordable in the nation. Customers give the utility high ratings. J.D. Powers & Associates ranked Seattle City Light in the top 20 nationally. The utility covers 131 square miles and serves nearly 400,000 customers. That includes the city of Seattle, seven suburban cities, and a small part of unincorporated King County. Seattle City Light has a workforce of 1,800 employees, including those in the skilled trades, such as line workers and cable splicers, to engineers, IT professionals, and others. The utility's 2011 budget was a little more than $1 billion. Through the persistent efforts of those workers and with the guidance of the mayor and the city council, City Light became carbon neutral in 2005. Its ongoing mission is to be one of the greenest and most forward-thinking utilities anywhere. More than 90% of City Light's power generation comes from clean hydropower that's managed in a way to preserve salmon migration and support healthy runs. The hydroelectric plants are at Cedar Falls, Seattle City Light's first plant and one of the oldest in the country. The Skagit project adds to the generation mix with Gorge, Diablo and Ross dams. In Pend Oreille County, Boundary Dam rounds out the hydro picture of dams that are fully owned and operated by Seattle City Light. On the alternative generation side, Seattle City Light gets power from the State Line Wind Power Project near Walla Walla and a number of cogeneration plants. In terms of assets, City Light takes care of seven dams and generation stations, 53,000 transformers, nearly 2,500 miles of power lines, 84,000 streetlights, 1,200 transmission towers, and more. These assets, when purchased, were valued at about $3 billion. If the utility had to replace them all today, it would mean billions and billions of dollars. Overall, City Light's revenues mainly come from ratepayers, 82%. Another 12% of revenues comes from selling surplus power in the energy market and 6% from other smaller sources such as grants and contracts. City Light spends the majority of its money on either purchasing power or preserving its huge infrastructure. Less than 15% of total revenues are spent on salaries and benefits. <laughs>